Hi everyone and welcome to this edition of Thrive in Three, a, a brief conversation about thriving in life and in business. And today I'm very excited to invite to welcome Katrina Houghton to this space. Hi Katrina. Hello, thank you for having me. Great to have you here. Katrina, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Sure. So um, I live in New Brunswick, Canada, and uh, my business is The Wellness Boss. I am The Wellness Boss. My website is thewellnessboss.com. I am a life coach, health coach, and a Reiki master and professional reflexologist. Oh, and a mom of three. <laughs> Lovely. So a lot of modalities that people can pick and choose from to go on their healing journey. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes. So Katrina, what is your thriving tip of the day? Oh, wonderful. Um, I guess I just want to quickly start with, I primarily work with uh, professional and stay-at-home moms, just helping them overcome the crash and burn cycle from their busy lifestyle. And so I do focus on helping moms slow down and take their power back so that they can be successful in every area of their life. And the tip of the day that I want to really focus on is your body-mind connection. I find that a lot of my clients suffer from turning into robotic mom. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you work or if you're at home, you function by the clock. You're constantly watching the clock and a lot of them will just eat or not eat depending on how hectic and crazy their lifestyles are. So the body mind connection is really paying attention to um, your body signals. You know, are you actually hungry or are you thirsty? What does hunger feel like to you? Does your tummy growl? Do you get a headache? Do you feel kind of spacey? Are you actually feeling hungry or are you just bored? Uh, especially right now during this pandemic, a lot of my clients are suffering from this mindless wandering to the kitchen because they're looking for something and they're not being satisfied. So that's something I do work with people to get to the bottom of, um, if that's a consistent thing in your daily lifestyle. But I think the, the number one tip is just really slowing down, taking 10 slow, deep breaths, and really tuning into your body and seeing what needs to be nurtured or satisfied at that time it might not be food <laughs> and do you believe that people can do that on their own that they can find tune into their body on their own i think absolutely yes they can if they if you're willing to get still and be quiet and just take the time to do the 10 deep breaths some people will do three breaths and think oh this is stupid i can't do it but if you really um slow down, take 10 deep breaths and ask yourself, you know, am I hungry or am I just bored? And I, I will uh, do a couple exercises with my clients to have them connect to their bodies and really, you know, describe what does hunger feel like for you? And it's not, it's not what I think hunger is because I know my hunger cues. Um, and the reason I talk about hunger is because it's the one of the simplest things to talk about and that's you know it's we talk about hunger before we get to anxiety before we get to overwhelm before we get to frustration and resentment and all of those other emotions that come into play i like to start with hunger because it's something that everybody can relate to and discover in their bodies first before we start addressing all of the other needs <laughs> Well, I need to talk to you because I think I'm suffering from overwhelm. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Katrina. So it's, it's about getting in tune, understanding what's really going on in your mind and your body. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I'm Lois from Coaching Conversations for Change. Do join us again for another Thrive in Three. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you so much, Lois. Bye. Bye-bye.